everybody. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening, evening teacher. teacher. Hi, evening, how are you? Teacher. I'm fine, teacher. Great, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's begin. Um, solo permítanme que aquí hay que poner todo en orden porque vengo de la otra clase, así que. All right, this is the one. Okay, just a moment. Siempre recordemos, si no estamos participando, eh, poner el micrófono en silencio. Okay, thank you. All right, uh, let's begin. First things first, we need to call the attendance. Okay. See? Attendance list. When you hear your name, please let me know you're here. Okay. Si escuchan su nombre, por favor, me avisan. Vamos por acá. Okay. Let's begin. Just a moment. All right. So um, the first one is Braulio Heriberto Velázquez Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado. Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado. Cesar Alejandro Aparicio Mendoza. Here, present. Thank you. Claudia Maria Garcia Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Tamaris Isabel Castellanos Tobar. Tamaris Isabel Castellanos Tobar. Doribel Arelí Areaza Flores. Doribel Arely Areaza Flores. Are you here? Okay. Next one. Eli Antonio Sandoval Colindres. Eli Antonio Sandoval, Sandoval Colindres. Esmeralda Isabel Martinez Orellana. Present picture. Thank you. Herbert Adán Miranda. Present. Thank you. Eh, Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño López. Present teacher. Thank you. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Teacher, Jaime. él dijo que se iba a conectar un poquito tarde porque estaba en inglés y escribió en el WhatsApp. Ah, es cierto, sí, es cierto. Tiene razón. Thank you. Ok, ¿quién nos dijo por acá en el chat? Carlos Alberto Martínez. Ok, vamos ahí a ponerle a Carlos. Alberto Martinez. Okay. Hi, thank teacher. You. Thank you. Good thank night. You. Good evening. Okay. Entonces, eh, ¿quién me saludó por acá? Jaime Adonai. Okay, thank you. Yes, coach. Jen okay. Uh, Jennifer thank Raquel you. Ayala Vázquez. Yes. Jennifer Raquel. Okay, thank you. Jesús Eduardo Escobar Carranza. Jesús Eduardo Escobar Carranza. Juan Carlos Maravilla Méndez. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, recomendación, Juan Carlos, es de poner el nombre completo porque ahí le aparece Han Maravilla. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces. Siempre me aparece así, no sé por qué, y lo cambio y siempre me aparece así. Ah, de veras. Sí hay que ver sí. eso porque... 
sí, en el caso no es el nombre completo y además le aparece diferente porque no es Juan Carlos, sino es Juan Juan, ¿verdad? Así que para, le digo para que después no vaya, no vaya a haber problemas, o sea, con parte de, de Insafor, porque ellos son, para eso son como bien rígidos. Ok, uh, Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodríguez. Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodríguez. Is Carla here? Catherine Jasmine Guatemala Arias. Present teacher. Thank you. Laura Concepción Mena Garay. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Present. Thank you. Uh, Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. Marina Esmeralda Martínez Ramos. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Rebeca Abigail Calderón Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. Present teacher. Thank you. Ruth Marielo Sayala de Guardado. Amaya teacher. Perse, teacher. Como, como le dije, Ayala. I, I'm sorry. Sí, Ayala. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Amaya de guardado. Perdón, que la letra es pequeña y hasta ahora cuesta leer. Ok. Ok, don't worry. Ruth Marielos, Amaya de guardado. Ok, ahí vamos. Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. Ready, teacher. Thank you. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Wendy Lisette Carías de Cedillos. Present teacher. Thank you. Ok. Voy a llamar a aquellos que no me han contestado aún. Damaris Isabel Castellanos Tobar. Damaris Isabel Castellanos Tobar. Doribel Arelí Areaza Flores. Doribel... Arelí Arriaza Flores. Elí Antonio Sandoval Colindres. Elí Antonio Sandoval Colindres. Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Isabo Elizabeth Torres. Jesús Eduardo Escobar Carranza. Jesús Eduardo Escobar Carranza. Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Saúl... ¿Qué fue eso? Ok. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Ok. Bueno, pasaremos participación sí, que... nuevamente al final. Dígame. Eh, bueno. Disculpe, pero no sé si me tomó asistencia, es que me estuvo fallando el audio en ese momento y no sé si me escuchó. Ok, creo que no. Quiero ver, Carla Abigail. Ok, sí. aquí estamos. Okay. Thank you. Gracias. All right. Bueno, comenzamos entonces. Let's take a look. Okay, everybody, welcome. This is English Pre Intermedio, Módulo 3, and that's me, Iván Doñán, at your service. And this is session number two. Today is May 23rd, 2023. Let's do this. Okay, un repaso de lo de ayer. Adverbs before adjectives. You can use adverbs before adjectives. For example, you can say adverb reasonably and the adjective cheap. Reasonably cheap, okay? Extremely good. Terribly sorry. Really nice, okay? You say, for example, the movie was really boring. Really boring. It's a reasonably cheap restaurant and the food is extremely good. I am terribly sorry. I didn't mean to push you. No era mi intención empujarte. Carlos moved into a really nice apartment. Entonces, ¿cómo se utiliza esto? You know that the restaurant is cheap, okay? But how cheap? Reasonably cheap, okay? Razonablemente barato. Tampoco es tan, tan barato que le van a regalar las cosas, okay? It's a reasonably cheap restaurant and the food is extremely good. So we know the food is good, but the question is how good? Extremely good. The quality is, the quality is really high. So the food is extremely good. 
Okay, when you say, I am terribly sorry, you say, I am sorry, but how sorry? Terribly sorry, terribly sorry. I didn't mean to push you. And Carlos moved into a nice apartment. Okay, the apartment is nice, but how nice? Really nice, okay? That's the adverb. So the adverbs reasonably, extremely, terribly, and really modify the adjective that comes after them, okay? You can also use adverbs before participial adjectives. Those are the adjectives ending in ed and ing. For example, to people were seriously injured in the accident. Okay, the conference was badly organized. The movie was really boring. So in the first one, when you say two people were injured in the accident, okay, injured, but how injured? Seriously injured. They had to be taken to hospital, emergencies. The conference was organized. Okay, the conference was organized, but how? It was badly organized, okay? Badly organized. And the movie was boring. Okay, the movie was boring, but how boring? Really boring. Okay, terrible. Just like this man right here. There really was re the movie was really boring. Okay, so he's sleeping. And then your turn. We completed this exercise yesterday to choose two words, one from each box to complete each sentence. I thought the restaurant will be expensive, but it was reasonably cheap. Number two, William's mother is seriously sick in hospital. Number three, this house is so big. It is absolutely enormous. Number four, it wasn't a serious accident. The car was only slightly damaged. Number five, our children are normally very active, but they are unusually quiet today. Number six, when I returned home after 20 years, everything had completely changed. Number seven, the movie was unnecessarily long. It could have been much shorter. Number eight, I'm surprised Amy and Joe have separated. I thought they were happily married. And number nine, a lot went wrong during our vacation because it was badly planned. So you have adverb and adjective, adverb and adjective, adverb and adjective. That is the order. The adverb modifies the adjective. Always remember that. So. Let's continue. Knowledge check 1.4. The instructions in this exercise, you are given some questions. In order to answer them, you need to choose the correct response. The best suits the question. Read all the information carefully. So it's the same exercise you have right here. Es el mismo ejercicio que tenemos en el manual, en el, digamos, folleto que se les ha dado. Match the questions with the answers, then practice the conversations, okay? So what's Seoul like? Is it an interesting place? And we saw this yesterday. Not really. It's too small and it's really boring. That's why I moved away. Number two, do you like your hometown? Why or why not? The answer is C. Yes, it has amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly. Number three goes like this. What's Sydney like? I've never been there. Okay. It's letter A. Oh, really? It's beautiful and very clean. Sorry. It's beautiful and very clean. It has a great harbor and beautiful beaches. And number four, have you ever been to Sao Paulo? The answer is yes, I have. It's an extremely large and crowded place, but I love it. It has excellent restaurants. So uh, that's what we saw yesterday. So lo que hicimos ayer, lo estamos viendo ahorita, manera de repaso nada más. But now let's take a look at this. Lesson objective. In this session, participants will know, identify, and use conjunctions such as and, but, though, and however. In esta clase, Los participantes conocerán, identificarán y usarán conjunción. Next, tendría que ser ahí plural. Sorry about that. Conjunción. Next. Tales como y, pero aunque y sin embargo. Let's save the work. So take a good look at this. This is uh, the content that you will find in section 1.6, the video conjunctions. I recommend watching that. 
by the way, let me um, access this so you can see it right here. Right now we are in part 1. Point... Oh, wait a second, this is section two. We have to see section one over there. Okay, vamos por acá. Section 1.6, this is the video conjunctions, okay? My recommendation is watch the video. There's Miss Jessica, she's, she's explaining everything in a very nice way. Okay, watch the whole video and then you'll have a check mark. And after that, there's the knowledge check 1.7. So that's what we're gonna do right now. But first the grammar, take a look, conjunctions. It's an exciting city and the weather is nice, okay? An exciting city and the weather is nice. Y el clima es bonito, ¿verdad? O el tiempo, las condiciones del tiempo son agradables. Okay, so you use and, and is a conjunction, and adds information, okay? So you mention something and you use and to add extra information. Normally, if you say something good, something positive, and you use and, then you say something else that is good and positive. Good and good, positive and positive, okay? That's the idea. So it adds extra information. It's an exciting city and the weather is nice. What about but? But is like when you say in Spanish, pero, okay? You say, it's a big city. That's a good thing. But it's not too big. Es grande, pero no tan grande, okay? So it's a big city, but it's not too big. So but expresses contrast. Esta palabra, but, es el pero en español, ¿verdad? Expresa contraste. Usted dijo algo bueno, entonces va algo mal. Ya me están manchando la pantalla ahí. No me manchen la pantalla. <ríe> ok. Quien me esté manchando la pantalla ahí, le pido por favor que borre esas manchitas que está haciendo. Porque si no, ahí quedan después. Miren, ahí quedan. Quedan directas. Así que no me manchen la pantalla, por favor. Ok. Permítame, la voy a borrar yo mismo. Okay, here we go. So it's a big city, but it's not too big. Okay, but is contrast. Okay, the next one. It's a big city, period. It's not too big, though. Okay, though in Spanish is aunque. Normalmente se ocupa al final de la oración. It's a big city. It's not too big, though. Okay, aunque no es muy grande. Okay, though also expresses contrast, okay? But you use it at the end of the sentence. And then you can say, it's a big city, period. It's not too big, however. However, this is like when you say in Spanish, sin embargo, it also expresses contrast. So look, and is a conjunction that you use to add extra information. But, though, and however, express contrast. The three of them express contrast. And one thing that I want you to take a look at, algo que quiero que se fijen muy bien es en esto. When you use en and but, you normally separate the conjunctions with a comma. It's an exciting city, comma, and the weather is nice. It's a big city, comma, but it's not too big. But now look at though and however, you need to use a period. In this case, you have Two sentences, not one. You have, it's a big city, period. A new sentence begin. It's not too big though. And the other one, it's a big city, period. A new sentence begin. It's not too big, however. Okay? Así que cuidado ahí. Cuando ocupen en y but, por lo general, van en la misma oración. Lo único que los separa son una coma. Pero though y however, ¿verdad? Cuando utilicen esos, por lo general, va a, van a ser dos oraciones separadas. Como aquí, it's a big city, primera oración. It's not too big though, segunda oración. It's a big city, primera oración. It's not too big, however, segunda oración. Así que mucho cuidado con eso. ¿Qué vamos a hacer acá? Exercise B. Choose the correct conjunctions and rewrite the sentences. Okay, so you have, for example, Taipei is very nice. Everyone is extremely friendly. So you are going to use and, your options, I'm sorry, are and or but. 
which one are you going to use? Are you going to use and or are you going to use but? Braulio Heriberto, and then Marina Esmeralda, and then Carla Abigail. Uh, teacher, number one is but. Okay, type A is very nice. Everyone is extremely friendly and you use but. Be careful. Type A is nice. That's a good thing. And everyone is extremely friendly. That's a good thing. So are you going to use and or but? Let's see what Marina has to say. The correct answer is but. Type but. is very nice, but, um, sorry, and everyone is extremely friendly. Okay, so you say type and. A is very nice and everyone is extremely friendly. Porque son dos comentarios positivos, ¿verdad? Es bonito, type A, y además la gente es, es muy amigable. Entonces, utilizamos and. No hay contraste, sino lo contrario. Le está añadiendo a la idea. Okay, so yeah, that is correct. You use and. What about number two? Carla Abigail. The streets are crowded. It's easy to get around. And or though. No. Okay. What is the correct form? The full form. The the streets are crowded. It's easy to get around though. The streets are crowded. Period. It's easy to get around though. Okay. La ciudad, la, las, las calles están bien llenas de gente. Aunque es fácil, verdad, encontrar el camino. O es fácil, verdad, eh, movilizarse. It's easy to get around. Thank you. Uh, Adonai Duran. Okay. Bon appetit. Okay. Number Thank three. Thank you, coach. Okay. The weather is nice. Summers get pretty hot. And or however. And they, uh, they were, uh, they wear in night and some summer got pretty hot. The weather is nice and summers get pretty hot. Yes. Okay. Take a look. The weather is nice. That's a good comment. But then you have summers get pretty hot. Ah, okay. Comment. Ah, okay, okay, so okay. Contrast. Ah, okay. sería ah. uh, how we How? Who do you say? However. The pronouns, coach? However. 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 So, the weather is, is nice. However, summer is pretty hot. Okay. You can use however at the beginning. So the weather is pretty nice. However, summers get pretty hot. Pero para efectos, ¿verdad? El conjunction que estamos viendo ahorita, sería mejor ponerlo al final. Sería, the weather is very nice, period. Summers get pretty hot, however. Okay. Sin embargo, los veranos son bastante calientes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Adonai. Uh, Ruth Marielos, number four. Then Wendy Lisette, number five. And Luz Clara, number six. Okay. So, uh, Ruth Marielos, shopping is great. You have to bargain in the markets. Do you understand the meaning of bargain? is but okay Can shopping you... is great mm -hmm. but you have to uh como se pronuncia bargain bargain in the markets yeah shopping is great but you have to bargain in the markets that is correct okay tiene que regatear en los mercados like in el salvador okay so how much is that the same ten dollars eight dollars Nine dollars. Okay. So five dollars. Five dollars. Okay. So yeah. Shopping is great, but you have to bargain in the markets. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Wendy Lisette, number five. The food is delicious. It's not too expensive. And it's not too expensive. Okay, can you tell me the complete sentence? The food is delicious and it's not too expensive. The food is delicious and it's not too expensive. Correct. It's a good comment with another good comment. So you use and. Very good. Thank you. Luz Clara de la O. Okay. It's an amazing city and I love to go there. It's an amazing city and I love to go there. Okay. Por cierto, le acabo de tomar su asistencia. Okay. It's an amazing city and I love to go there. Correct. That's how you do the conjunctions right here. And, but, though, and however. All right. Uh, Saul Alexander. No sé si quería participar o si tiene alguna duda.
Yeah, teacher, I want to participate. Oh, you wanted to participate. Sorry. Okay. Uh, we just ran out of exercises, but um, there will be more. I promise. <laughs> okay. Okay. <next> <laughs> So yeah, that, that's uh, a knowledge check 1.7. Okay, everybody, please solve it. Acuérdense, vamos por acá. No se vaya a atrasar, ¿verdad? Ya hicimos eso aparte. Por lo tanto, aquí solo es de elegir. Súper fácil, ni siquiera hay que escribir nada. Solamente elija la correcta. Y luego acá, ¿verdad? Sería enviar. Okay, so um, let's move on. Let's continue. Okay, 1.8 lesson objective. In this session, model verbs can and should will be introduced in a conversation. Okay, in esta clase, los verbos modales can, can, perdón, can, como en español, can, poder y should, debería, serán presentados en la siguiente conversación. So here we go, conversation. What should I see there? Okay, listen and practice but I don't have the audio file, so I need two volunteers to help me read this, please. I need a lady and a gentleman. So Saul Alexander is going to participate and Wendy Lisette, okay? Let's do this. Uh, Saul, you're gonna be Thomas and Wendy, you're going to be Elena. Let's, let's read this. Okay. <clears throat> can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, that's a good time to visit. I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely. Definitely. Visit, definitely. 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 Visit the National Museum and I go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the pyramid of the sun. It's very interesting. Pyramid of the sun. Pyramid of the sun. Mm -hmm. It all sounds really exciting. No, no le veo el feeling, dice. It all sounds really <laughs> exciting. <dice. laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. So Thomas says, can you tell me a little about Mexico City? And Elena says, sure I can. What would you like to know? And Thomas asks, well, what's a good time to visit? Okay, Elena says, I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Thomas says, oh, good. And what should I see there? Elena says, well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. Thomas says, and what else? Elena says, oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. Thomas says, it all sounds really exciting. Tenemos entrada de chat por acá. Damaris, I'm at work, I'm just listening for the night. Okay, thank you, Damaris. Tomamos aquí asistencia entonces. All right. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary or the expressions in the conversation? Do you have any questions, Braulio? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, what is the pronunciation of the fintech? After the visit, La palabra que dice definite, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Ah, uh, this one right here? Mm -hmm, yes. Definitely. De definitely. 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 Okay. So Thank they you. say you should definitely visit the National Museum. Definitely. Definitivamente. Right. Definitely. Ok. Marina Esmeralda. Teacher, yo también quería, eh, quería preguntar cómo se pronuncia, pronunciaba esta en la última de Elena. Oh, you should miss the pyramid? Pyramid. 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 Mm -hmm. You shouldn't miss the pyramid of the sun. It's very interesting. Ok. Pyramid. Ok, cool. 
Any other questions about the vocabulary, pronunciation, the expressions in the conversation, anything? I'm here to help you. No more questions? No more questions. Okay, then let's move on. Take a look. This is the Palace of Fine Arts. Looks really big. Looks really nice. And this is the Pyramid of the Sun. Okay. An ancient monument. Okay. In Mexico City. All right. Have you ever traveled to Mexico City? Never before? Okay. Me neither. <laughs> okay. In this session, model verbs can and should will be taught in order to ask and answer questions. In esta clase, los verbos modales can and should se enseñarán para poder hacer y contestar preguntas. This is actually very easy. Nothing out of the ordinary. This is 1.10. That's the lesson objective. So modal verbs can and should. What are you going to do right here? Take a look. What can I do in Mexico City? Okay. Sabemos que se puede utilizar can para hablar de habilidad, pero también se puede utilizar can para expresar lo que es posible, lo que es posible y lo que no es posible. Entrada de chat. Ok. Uh, what can I do in Mexico City? Cuando decimos, what can I do in Mexico City, no está hablando de habilidad, ¿verdad? Sino más bien de lo que es posible hacer en México. So, what can I do in Mexico City? You say, you can see the Palace of Fine Arts. ¿verdad? Puedes ver el Palacio de Artes Finas o de Bellas Artes. So, you can see the Palace of Fine Arts. You can't visit some museums on Monday. No es que uno no tenga la habilidad de visitarlos, sino más bien que no es posible porque a lo mejor están cerrados. ¿verdad? So, you can't visit some museums on Mondays. So, you can't do something, you can't do some other things. Be careful there. So, what should I see there? ¿Qué debería haber? That's the model should. What should I see there? You should visit the National Museum. Deberías visitar. Okay, el Museo Nacional. When they say you should, they're giving a recommendation. They're giving advice to the other person. Okay, you should visit the National Museum. And you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. Now, one thing that you need to know about models is that there are some rules to them. Okay, la vamos a copiar acá. Models, okay. And these are the rules. Number one, model verbs, model verbs, sorry, uh, are always followed by verbs in base form. That's the first rule. Esta es la primera regla. For example, you have can, you also have can't, you have should, so an example of the models, and you have shouldn't, okay? So, let me move this a little bit. Okay, so you have can't go, can't visit, should see, shouldn't uh, eat. ¿Qué son estos? Can, su forma negativa, can't, should, su forma negativa, shouldn't, son modal verbs. What is the first rule? Modal verbs are always followed by verbs in base form. A los modal verbs siempre le sigue un verbo en forma base, que quiere decir que solo la forma sin modificar del verbo es válida. Si usted dice, por ejemplo, imaginemos, I can, sorry, you can go to the museum. This is correct, ¿ok? Si ya usted, en vez de poner go, quisiese, vamos a poner acá, correct, ¿ok? En vez de go, quisiera poner you can to go, ya sería incorrecto porque eso es un to infinitive. Si usted pone esto, can went, también está incorrecto porque esa no es la forma base del verbo. Si usted pone can goes, también está incorrecto porque no es la forma base del verbo. Si usted dice uh, can going, 
¿Ok? También está incorrecto. Ninguno de estos puede ser. Después del model, solamente se puede utilizar un verbo en forma base. Y la forma base del verbo go es go. No es to go. No es went. No es goes. No es going. No es que no existan todas estas. Claro que existen. Pero no se pueden ocupar después de un model. Así que esa es la primera regla de los models. Model verbs are always followed by verbs in base form. Ok, uh, Isabo está aquí en... Uh, ya está aquí, ¿verdad? Aquí va. Isabo. Ok, perfecto. Thank you, Isabo. ¿Quién más me está escribiendo? Eli Antonio. Ok, Eli Antonio, Eli Antonio. Aquí tomamos asistencia. Thank you, Eli. Ok. All right. So that's rule number one of model verse. They're always followed by verse in base form. Okay, so uh, rule number two, model verbs don't have a special form for the subjects, he, she, or it. Okay, that's rule number two. Model verbs don't have a special form for the subjects, he, she, or it. That means it's the same for all of them. You can say, I can, you can, he can, she can, we can, they can. Okay? If you notice, take a look at this. Para todas es igual. No importa que sea he, she, it, no le vaya a usted poner cans, ¿verdad? Eso no existe. Okay, porque can is a model verb. So model verbs don't have a special form for the subjects he, she, or it. Those are the rules. Okay, siempre recuerden. La primera, siempre va un verbo en forma base después de un model verb. Y la segunda es que no tienen formas especiales para he, she, or it. No tienen. Okay. So uh, those are rules right there. Do you have any questions, Salvador Palomo? Yes, teacher. Uh, what is the difference that can go and can visit the pronunciation? What is the difference? Ah, you mean this, the affirmative and the negative? Yes, please. Okay, the first one is can. Can. And the second one is can't. Can't. You have to okay. pronounce that t -t at the end. Can't. 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 can't exactly in, in can. and and here you have should by the way the l is silent here you don't pronounce it so you don't say should that will be incorrect pronunciation you have to say should should and the negative is shouldn't shouldn't the l again is silent so don't pronounce it it's very important this is a pronunciation rule okay so, teacher thank you uh-huh okay you have can can't should and shouldn't. Any other questions about this? Any other questions? No more questions? Do okay. we have, do we okay. Have, uh, excuse me. Uh, okay, okay, no problem. Okay, so if there are no more questions, then uh, we continue right here. So, uh, model verbs can and should. Okay, what can I do in Mexico City? You say you can see the Palace of Fine Arts and you can't visit some museums on Mondays. What should I see there? ¿Qué debería ver? Ahí, ¿verdad? ¿Qué me recomienda ver? So, you should visit the National Museum. You shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. Okay, no deberías perderte de ninguna manera, ¿verdad? La Pirámide del Sol. You shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. So what are you going to do right here? Complete these conversations using can, can't, should, or shouldn't. Yes, Marina. Ah, you want to be first, okay. All right, so uh, then practice with a partner. Okay, so uh, there's the first conversation I need to people. Okay, so Marina, you read A, Braulio, you read B, please. Let's read this. Okay, ya con usando el... el... Yes. La palabra colectiva, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. 
I can't decide where to go on my vacation. I can't decide where to go on my vacation. Okay, and then Braulio. Uh, is you you chose go to India? It's my favorite pla place to visit. You should go to India. It's my favorite place to visit. Yeah, that's right. Just remember the pronunciation, right? When you say this, the L is mute. It's silent, so we don't pronounce it. So you should, should, but not should, right? You should. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, we'll continue now with Luis Fernando and Adonai Duran. Okay, so number two, Luis Fernando, your A, Adonai, your B. Um, um, I'm plan. I'm planning to go to Bogota next year. When do you think I should go? When do you think I should go? That's right. And then B of the night. Um, you can go and sign the we weather is night in year. You can go anytime. The weather is nice all year. Okay. Sin embargo, aquí les he puesto esta aclaración al final, esas letras rojas. Dice, select should in the platform. Si ustedes le ponen can en la plataforma, se lo va a tomar mal. ¿Por qué? No sé, pero se lo va a tomar mal. Así que pónganle should para que le salga bien. Aunque en realidad la respuesta debería ser can. Should no tiene sentido. Uh -huh. No tiene sentido. Es you can go anytime. Puedes ir cuando quieras, Luis, en cualquier momento. ¿Verdad? No hay, no hay restricción de cuándo se puede ir. So you can go anytime. I had a question, coach. Uh-huh, yes. Uh, you can you can you can call me teacher also. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. And what is the difference in can't and should? Can and should. Can is a model that expresses ability or possibility. Okay, cuando decimos can, estamos hablando de lo que usted puede hacer. Mm -hmm. En este caso, cuando le dicen, ¿y en esta ciudad qué se puede hacer? Ah, mira, puedes ir a este lugar, puedes ir a este otro lugar, puedes subirte a, este, a esta colina, puedes visitar tal museo. Entonces, ahí ocupamos can. Pero should okay. es diferente. Should es para dar una recomendación, para dar consejo. Entonces, uh, entonces okay. le dicen a usted, you should visit the National Museum. ¿verdad? Debería visitar el Museo Nacional. Pero ahí mm -hmm. usted si va, ¿verdad? You should. Okay, that's the difference. Okay, thank okay, you. Okay, let's. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, we'll continue. Los que ya participaron también recuerden que pueden bajar la manita para que no nos confundamos ahí. Okay, Saúl and Wendy. Luego vamos con Rebecca and Carla. Okay, Saúl and Wendy, number three, please. Should I rent a car when arriving in Cairo? What do you recommend? No, you shouldn't definitely 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 use the subway in fast and efficient. 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 Okay, eh, veamos. ¿Cuál sería de nuevo? No, you shouldn't. Actually, it's affirmative. Okay, can. I can't. No, no. Uh, it's it's. You told me shouldn't, but that's negative. You have to use the affirmative form. Ajá. No, you should. Uy, esto me salieron no, aquí juntos. Permítanme. No, 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 no. Uy. <laughs> ok. Give me a second. Just a moment. Salió ahí mala la animación. Just a second. Ok. Solo un momentito. Okay, hoy sí. Okay, sería en ese caso, no, coma, you should definitely use the subway. Definitivamente deberías ocupar el, el subway, el subterráneo. Okay, uh, it's fast and efficient. Entonces, ¿qué, ¿cuál es la pregunta? Dice, should I rent a car when I arrive in Cairo? ¿Debería rentar un vehículo cuando llegue al Cairo? What do you recommend? Y le dice, no, okay, you should definitely use the subway. Okay, it's a different recommendation. You should definitely use the subway. It's fast and efficient. So thank you, Saul and Wendy. We have some chat entries right here. Okay. No, no, teacher, please <laughs> call me teacher. <laughs> okay. So uh, what about number four? 
Um, Carla, uh, no, sorry, Rebeca and Carla. Okay. Okay, where can I get some nice jewelry and banco? Ju jewelry. Jewelry. Jewelry in Bangkok. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't miss the weekend market. It's the best place for bargains. Yes, okay. Uh, where can I get some nice jewelry in Bangkok? You shouldn't miss the weekend market. It's the best place for bargains. Bargains, le había dicho que es regatear, pero como verbo, como sustantivo, bargains son, son las cachadas. <laughs> okay, it's the best place for bargains. Okay, good prices. What's the meaning of that? Okay, so it's the best place for bargains. Good. Number five, Ruth Marielos and Luis Fernando, do you want to participate? Okay, uh, what should I see from the Eiffel Tower? What should I see from the Eiffel Tower? Mm, try a different model. It's not should. Uh, um, not is show. It's not should. Uh -huh. Okay, what can I see from the Eiffel Tower? What can I see from the Eiffel Tower, right? What can I see from the Eiffel Tower? And the answer is, do you want to uh, reply, Ruth? Sorry? Uh, do you want to finish, part B? Uh, uh, ah, the B, T, uh, también? Yes, part B, too. Ah, okay. You should see all of Paris, but in bad weather, you can see anything? Okay, so again, the question is, what can I see from the Eiffel Tower? That's the question. And then the answer is you. It's not sure. You can. Okay. Uh-huh. You, you can. can you you can see all of Paris, but in bad weather, you can't see anything. If it's raining, okay, you can't see anything. There. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Okay, everybody, thank you for your participation. So those are the model verbs can and should right there. Do you have any questions before we continue, before we move on? No question. No questions. No questions. Okay, no questions. Okay, very good. All right. Again, this is section 1.11, the video model verbs can and should. Let me show you uh, right here, this one. Okay, so, uh, no, sorry, this is less an objective. So the video model verse can issue again, please watch the video, everybody, okay? Cuenta como porcentaje de desarrollo, verdad? It's a completion uh, percentage in the platform. And then there is the knowledge check 1.12. ¿Qué van a hacer acá? Es lo mismo. I, blah, 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 decide where to go on vacation. Just select the correct answer. Okay, de nuevo, en esta, en la número 2B, que dice, you can go anytime, the weather is all, it's, it's nice all year, póngale should en ese caso, porque esa es la que le va a tomar correcta. Okay, Ruth Marielos. Teacher, I have a question. Um, yes. The number five, mm -hmm. uh, why is can um, and no show? Because it's not a recommendation, it's not advice. No le está pidiendo, digamos, una recomendación, sino más bien le está diciendo qué puede ver desde la Torre Eiffel. Es como si le dijeran a usted, su casa está en una tercera planta y le preguntaran, ¿qué se alcanza a ver desde ahí? ¿Qué puede ver desde ahí? Ah, mira, de acá miro El Salvador del Mundo, alcanza a ver Metro Centro, alcanza a ver... Entonces, es lo que usted puede ver. Should ah, es más okay. como una recomendación. Ah, ok. Ok. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So what can I see from the Eiffel Tower? You can see all Paris, but in bad weather, you can't see anything. Uh, si, el, si el clima está malo, okay, no puede ver nada, no va a poder ver nada. You can't see anything. So uh, that's knowledge check 1.12 for you. Those are the answers. So what is next? Okay, take a good look. Uh, that's an objective. In this session, participants will learn and practice the pronunciation of can't and shouldn't to sound natural when speaking. In esta clase, aprenderán y practicarán la pronunciación de can't y shouldn't para sonar natural cuando hablen en inglés. And then you have the pronunciation section. Can't and shouldn't. 
Okay, so listen and practice these statements. Notice how the t in can't and shouldn't, okay, is not strongly pronounced. ¿Qué es, la, ¿Qué es lo que pasa acá? Para la clase, por, lo, por supuesto, tratamos de mencionarlo bien fuerte para que se escuche el contraste. Decimos, you can't go shopping on Sundays. Pero ya hablando en la vida real, ¿verdad? Ese sonido es menos perceptible. Decimos, you can't go, can't go, can't go. Se oye, pero no es tan marcado. You can't go shopping on Sundays. Can't go shopping, can't go, can't go. ¿Verdad? No lo exageramos mucho. No decimos, you can't go shopping on Sundays. Que eso no un poquito exagerado. Casi que le va a escupir ahí al, a su interlocutor. Y no es la intención. Entonces, eh, hay que practicar eso de manera que no se escuche forzado ni se escuche muy exagerado, sino que se escuche natural. You shouldn't miss, shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't. Se oye bien poco ese t al final, ¿verdad? Shouldn't. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. You can't get a taxi easily at night and you shouldn't miss the night markers. Okay, so I want you to listen to this. Everybody, please pay close attention and listen to it. Me avisan, por favor, si se escucha. Pronunciation. Could you hear that? Yes, coach. Okay, yes, thank yes. you. Yes. Okay. Can't and shouldn't. Part A. Listen and practice these statements. Notice how the T in can't and shouldn't is not strongly pronounced. You can't go shopping on Sundays. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. You can't get a taxi easily at night. You shouldn't miss the night markets. Okay, again, you have you can't go shopping on Sundays. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. You can't get a taxi easily at night. And uh, also you have, you shouldn't miss the night markers. Just give me a second. Just a moment. Okay. It's opening a lot of files right here. Just a second. Okay. All right. Just a moment, please. I need uh, volunteers, please, to read this. I want you to read the sentences. Okay, Ruth Marielos. Okay, we can begin with you. Uh, sorry, teacher. Uh, ¿Puedo volver a repetir, por favor? Okay. Es que hay una gran bulla. Ah, eh, las oraciones. Esas son las que tengo que decir. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah, that is correct. Okay, okay. You can't go shopping on Sunday. You shouldn't mm -hmm. swing at the beaches. Mm -hmm. You can't get uh, get a taxi easily at night. You shouldn't miss the night markets. You shouldn't miss the night markets. Okay, that is correct. Okay, very good. Luis Fernando, okay, your turn. Uh, okay, you can go shopping on Sundays. You shouldn't swing at the beaches. You can get a taxi easily at night. You shouldn't miss the night market. Okay, thank you very much. Braulio Heriberto. Uh, you can go shopping on Sunday. You should swim on the beaches. Mm -hmm. You can get a taxi uh, uh, easily. Easily. Easily, sorry. Mm -hmm. okay. Easily at night. Mm -hmm. You should miss the night market. You shouldn't. You, uh, sh you shouldn't. Sorry, please, the negative. You shouldn't miss. You shouldn't miss the night markets. Okay, good. Uh, let's see. Wendy Lisette, your turn. You can't go shopping on Sunday. You shouldn't mm -hmm. swim at the beaches. Mm -hmm. You can get a taxi easily at night. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't miss the night markets. You shouldn't miss the night markets. Okay, good. Um, Adonai Duran. You can you can go to shop shopping on Sunday. You shouldn't swipe on the beach and you okay. can careful, get... careful, careful. You have you shouldn't swim. You shouldn't swim. Oh, okay. 
You mm -hmm. can go shopping on Sunday. You shouldn't sweat on the beach. Swim, swim at swim the beaches. At the beaches. Mm -hmm. You can get a taxi. It is at night. You, you shouldn't. Can, you can't get a taxi easily at night. You can get a taxi. It is a night. Easily. Easily a night. Uh -huh. uh, you shouldn't miss the night market. You shouldn't miss the night markets. Okay, thank you very much. Carla Abigail. You can go shopping on Sundays. You shouldn't, shouldn't swim at the beaches. Mm -hmm. You can get a taxi easily at night. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't miss the night market. Shouldn't miss the night markets. Okay, good. Rebecca Abigail Calderon Cruz. Okay, you can go shopping on Sunday. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. You can't get a taxi easily at night. You shouldn't miss the night markets. You shouldn't mm -hmm. miss the night markets. Okay, thank you. Saul Alexander. You can go shopping on Sundays. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. You can get a taxi easily at night. You shouldn't miss the night markets. Okay, very good. Rene Giovanni. You can go shopping on Sunday. You shouldn't with swim swim at swim at the beach. You okay. can sorry, you, you shouldn't swim at the beaches. You shouldn't swim swim at the beaches. Mm -hmm. The beach. Uh, you can get a taxi easily at night. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't miss the night market. You shouldn't miss the night markets. Okay, good. Anybody else who wants to practice the pronunciation of these sentences? No one else? Okay, then. That is the last exercise, can't and shouldn't. Okay, so um, the next part is basically just... The pronunciation can't and shouldn't, section 1.14, okay? Básicamente terminamos la sección en dos días, okay? Cual estuvo bastante bien, porque eh, mañana y pasado tendríamos que hacer la siguiente, sería la sección número dos. Okay, um, we don't have much time. I'm going to call the attendance now. Give me a second. Y luego un pequeño repaso nada más para ir cerrando. Okay, solamente los que no me han contestado. Doribel Arelí. Riaza Flores, are you here? Doribel, Areli, Ariasa Flores, um, Jesus Eduardo Escobar Carranza. Present teacher, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, teacher, disculpe, ya me menciona a mí. A Esmeralda Isabel. Mm -hmm. Esmeralda Isabel, sí, sí. Sí, sí. Ah, por eso. Mm -hmm. Aquí esta vez que no me funcionaba el audio. Mm -hmm. Sí, 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 aquí está ya. Okay. okay. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Present, so, present. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, so entonces nada más un pequeño repaso para cerrar. De nuevo, ¿verdad? El, lo, lo estudiado en esta sección, en esta unidad, sería adverbs before adjectives. Again, you can use adverbs before adjectives. For example... The adverbs are reasonably, extremely, terribly, and really. Adjectives are cheap, good, sorry, and nice. Yes, Adonai. Eh, en, el en el chat creo que le escribieron algo a usted, coach. Quiero ver. Comento de Rivera Ari que tuvo una emergencia. Ok, ok, gracias por comentármelo, Braulio. Ok, thank you. Damaris dice presente también. Ok, ahí está ya la asistencia. Ok, thank you. Tenemos acá, uh, for example, reasonably cheap, extremely good, terribly sorry, really nice. Acuérdense siempre que los adverbs, la función que tienen es modificar o describir al adjective. Aunque no solamente describen y modifican adjectives, también describen y modifican verbos y otros adverbios incluso. Un adverbio puede modificar un adverbio también. Así que tenemos, en este caso estamos viendo adverbs before adjectives. Así que reasonably cheap, extremely good, terribly sorry. Really nice, okay? Seriously injured, badly organized, really boring. Todos esos cuentan, ¿verdad? Como adverbs before adjectives. Okay. Um, 
los adverbs básicamente nos están diciendo el grado, digamos, del adjetivo. Podemos decir, it's a cheap restaurant, ¿sí? restaurante barato, ok, va, pero ¿qué tan barato? It's reasonably cheap. O sea, no cuesta 10 centavos la comida tampoco, ¿verdad? Es razonablemente barato. Siempre le va a costar su poquito. It's a reasonably cheap restaurant and the food is extremely good. Nos decimos, the food is good, ok, but how good? ¿Qué tan buena? Extremely good. The quality standards are really high. En ese caso, extremely está modificando el adjective good porque nos está diciendo qué tan buena es la comida. Ya sabemos que es buena, pero qué tan buena. Extremely good. Así funcionan los adverbs, ¿ok? Nos dan información adicional o describen el adjetivo en este caso que están modificando. ¿Ok? Very important. Luego teníamos el otro, la otra parte del contenido que habíamos visto. Conjunctions que vimos hoy. It's an exciting city and the weather is nice. Conjunctions, ok, they connect ideas in a sentence or they can connect two sentences. It's an exciting city and the weather is nice. And is for additional information. So it's an exciting city. That's a good thing. And the weather is nice. That's also a good thing. So, and. It's a big city, but it's not too big. This is contrast, okay, in the same sentence. And you separate them by commas. But then you say it's a big city, period. New sentence. It's not too big, though, okay? That's contrast. And it's a big city, period. It's not too big, however, okay? Again, but, though, and however express contrast. And expresses addition. And finally, we have this, okay, modal verbs can and should. What can I do in Mexico City? You can see the Palace of Fine Arts. You can't visit some museums on Mondays. What should I see there? You should visit the National Museum. You shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun, okay? And that will be it. Recomendación, siempre vayan avanzando los ejercicios de la plataforma. ¿Dónde está? Ya se me perdió esa página. Híjole. No la tengo acá. Ok. Uh, give me a second. Platform exercises. ¿Verdad? Ya para esta noche tendría que estar lista toda la sección 1. Vamos aquí. Todo esto ya tendría que estar listo para hoy, ¿verdad? Y ya el día de mañana comenzamos con section number 2. Ok, que vamos a hacer nuestro mejor esfuerzo por cubrir entre el día de mañana y pasado, ¿verdad? Para que estemos cabalitos según lo que se espera de nosotros en cuestión de progreso en la plataforma. Ok, everybody, we're going to finish right here. So, uh, thank you very much and good night. Good night. Thank you very much. Oh, good night. Thank, thank you. Good night. Good night. See you. Bye. See you. Take care. Good night, teacher. Good night.